Now to our next final, men's slalom. Opening competitor from Melbourne, Nick Adams. Well, he's completed 13 and 12. We pick him up on the 11 to 5 metre line. 58 kilometres per hour is the boat speed for men. And Nick Adams, a tall, lanky young man, turns around boy four. Oh, he's way on time for this. Great turnaround five and a little late out of six, but totally under control now through the gates for Nick Adams. So that's 11 to 5. Now he's going to shorten up to 10.75 metres. Through the gates. Stretches, gets a good start around one. Turns two, great angle out of two. Still working hard. Well, he's down course and the ski spins out from underneath and unfortunately two and a half on the 10.75 metre line. As we see him coming to ball number two, got a nice hook out of two though. A little bit on the back of the ski. Tried as hard as he could to lean on that right shoulder. Gets the ski around ball three. Does a bit of a turtle spin. I reckon he tried to hold onto that one there, Nick Adams. But unfortunately, two and a half on the 10.75. Nick, skiing in front of your home crowd on Moomba Monday, what's it like out there? Oh, it's awesome. You know this is the best crowd in the world and best city in the world, so it was just awesome to take it all in in the final. You know, there's nothing like Moomba Monday. So we go now to our next competitor, Ben Stadelbauer of Switzerland. Has completed the 13, the 12, the 11, 2, 5. This is the 10, 7, 5, and unfortunately goes down around ball number two, one and a half on the 10, 7, 5 for Ben Stadelbauer. We go to another Australian in this field of eight. Tom Ryan needs to take the lead with more than two and a half. Turns ball two now, needs to get the ski around three. He does, and back to the wakes. A new leader in this uh, men's slalom final, Tom Ryan from Australia. Three on the 10, 7, 5. And Thomas Ryan, a happy boy there. We see a picture in the crowd, and there's his mum jumping for joy. Fantastic effort, Thomas Ryan. Well, Thomas de Gasperi now from Italy. A couple of the guys have had some problems on 10.75. Let's see what Thomas can do. Turns one. That's a great start. Composed. Oh, the ski stood up a bit out of two. He's going to have to work. He's down course at three, but he won't give in. He turns around four and the ski stands up. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. He's way down course at five, but Thomas de Gasperi somehow has managed to run the 10.75 metre line. Oh, it looks like he may have hurt his back too a little bit there, but we'll see how he goes now on the 10.25. Let's see, he needs, he's, getting, he's your new leader. Let's see if he can put some pressure on the boys still to come. A little bit of a shaky start at one. Gets the ski around two. Waits for the pull of the boat. Back to the wakes before the boat, guys. So he gets the full two on the 10-2-5. And your new leader, Thomas de Gasperi from Italy. And so as we go to replay, we see Thomas look like he got a fairly good start, stood up a little bit. When that rope is one and a quarter of a metre shorter to reach the ball, got the ski around number two, does an S turn, makes sure that he makes it back to the wakes to give himself the completed two boys. Congratulations, Thomas de Gasperi. Uh, it's always an amazing feeling. You know, we come here from, you know, this other side of the world and this is one of the best events that I ever experienced. That's why I always come back. Conditions are what they are, but it felt pretty good today. Uh, hopefully you hold a little bit. And now we go to the course record holder, broke it in the elimination round. Will Asher of Great Britain has high hopes in this event. He turns one, looks great. Gets great angle out of these boys, but he's, oh, unfortunately, try to take too much out of ball number two. And a disappointing one and a half on the 11.25. Well, we take another look, Jared. He got a good start out of one. Gets that great angle and that pull we're so used to with Will. Plenty of time in the boy two and just basically overturned the ski. And, uh, well, that's a, a big shock and a boil over. Will Asher out of the competition at 11.25 metres. Yeah, he would have been looking to be the favourite, but we go now to France. Sasha Deschunes of France. Onto the 10, 7, 5, turns one. Oh, nearly lost the tip of the ski out of ball one. Back on it, staying composed, trying to work his way down. There's three, and unfortunately, he's going to be inside four. So, Sasha will be heading home with three on the 10, 7, 5. Now, Joel Howley, he's got his way through to the 10, 2, 5, so he's shooting for the lead. Turns around one. Remember, the lead is two. He gets to boy two. Oh, can he get back to the wake for the extra half a point? He doesn't well he's just missed out by a hair's breadth and uh joel howley unfortunately one and a half on the 10.25 meter line but it puts him into second place and you see the difference between what we saw from thomas unfortunately for joel didn't make it back to the wakes before the next set of boat guides so that's why he only was scored the one and a half now nate smith 
course record holder or co-record holder. Let's see what he can do now. Turns around one. He gets to two. And if he can get back to the wake, he does. Oh, we have a runoff on our hands. So he's tied with Thomas de Gasperi. We go to a runoff situation. Nate Smith from the USA and Thomas de Gasperi from Italy. Well, you couldn't write a story like this, Rob. And here we go. We watched Nate Smith. We thought he'd just get a nice start here. Again, down course, as we saw from Thomas. Gets a little bit of uh, slack line, but tries to get his ski all the way up and around. Did he get around ball number two? Makes the S turn and back to the wakes, as we saw from Thomas, and two boys on the 10 to 5. And we are going to have the runoff, Rob. So, first up will be Thomas de Gasperi of Italy. Okay, well, he must surely try and run this complete pass. He comes in on the 10 point. 7.5 metre line, the big Italian. Eyes off boy one, gets a good start. Gets to boy two, turns two, oh, overturns two, and one and a half. Well, I think you'd have to say that won't be enough with a seasoned veteran, uh, Nate Smith, still on the dock to ski in this runoff. Oh, we'll have to wait and see. Anything can happen here at the Moomba Masters. But Thomas, you just reach for number two, and unfortunately tried to take too much, and one and a half on the 10.75. So the story set here for Nate Smith, needs to get more than two boys to take the win. Can he do it here and claim another Moomba Masters title? No, he's gone down around ball number one. Oh, devastating here for Nate Smith. So your 2019 Moomba Masters men's slalom champion from Italy, Thomas de Gasperi. Well, time and time again, we've seen Nate Smith do it when it counts, but today wasn't his day. Well, he looked pretty good at this point and just basically overturned the ski, knew he couldn't hang on to it, let go of the handle, and in the end, our winner is Thomas de Gasperi. One and a half on the 10.75. What were your thoughts when you saw Nate coming in? Did you think it was going to be enough? Oh, no. Like, after I fell, I was like, oh, this is it, because, you know, I've been sitting around here for 40 minutes and pacing up and down, and... You know, when you started at 10, 10, 10, 10, 75 after like almost an hour that you don't ski, it's really hard. And I was just trying to be aggressive and uh, and go hard at one ball, turn two, and then try to get down the course a little more. But at two ball, I just went too hard and I fell. And then Nate, that's what happened to him. He's like tried to go too hard at one ball and that's what happened. But this is the beauty of the sport. You know, we're here, we're having fun. And today was my day. So for a third time, the Moomba Masters men's slalom champion is Thomas de Gasperi of Italy. In second place, Nate Smith of the USA and taking home the bronze from Australia, Joel Howley. So as now we bring on our Nautique G23 for this women's wakeboard final, our first competitor, Mary Morgan Howell of the USA. Mary open with a heel side back roll. Now shaping up toe side for her second trick. Toe side tootsie roll there. Judges looking for plenty of air, plenty of style, plenty of difficulty too. The KGB passing the handle around her back and uh, got plenty of air too on that one. The G23 Nautique really helping these girls boot these tricks toe side off axis 360 to finish the pass. We go now to pass number two for Beck Gange of Australia. Yeah, Beck from Mildura, opening up with a front side 540 spin. Right. Looked like started from the toe side now on a second. That's a toe side 540 there for her second trick. Beck Gange, well, she's had some victories in America. She dearly loved to take out the Moomba crown. And that's a big indie tantrum to blind and huge air on that one for Beck. Aggressively edging out. Now, what's she going to do to finish? She needs some big points. Toe side, backside 180 to finish off for Beck Gange. We go now to another Australian, Zara Kell, here on pass number one. Well, Zara opening with a tootsie roll. Her dad, Scotty, the official boat driver here. Now she comes in heel side, backside 360. Probably one of Zara's safer tricks, but putting on extra points. Comes in now front side, 540. So starting to up the ante a little bit here is Zara Kell. Now, trick number four as she runs down to the city end. What can she do? And that's a big old whirly bird and oh, just butt checks, drops a handle. Bad luck there for Zara Kell. And after a great pass, this is pass number two for Taylor McCulloch of the USA. Okay, tantrum to fakie. We're getting big air, these girls here. Now, what can she do on a second trick? Second trick, second pass. Toe side roll to revert. Fairly standard stuff for Taylor, I'd imagine. Coming now, puts a 540 out there, stomping a big 540. Let's see what she can do on her last trick. 
She only has time for one more and pops a 360 without a huge air, but nonetheless, it's all points there for Taylor McCulloch. And we see Shane Bonifay there. Great to see the great man down here visiting at the Moomba Masters. There's a big front flip. I think she's grabbed the back of the board there. A few extra points. Now trick number two coming in toe side for a big toe side scarecrow. Well, Erica Lang getting huge air out here this afternoon on the Yarra in this women's wakeboard final comes in now. Heel side, that's a 540 degree spin. One trick to go. Comes in now, heel side, and another 540 to finish the run. Hands in the air, and she's happy with that is Erica Lang. And here you go your top seed in this women's wakeboard final, Megan Ethel of the USA. Cutting in aggressively, opens the account with a big whirly bird. Now coming in, toe side. Toe side, 540, spins the board one and a half times in the air. Wakeboarding aggressively now is Megan Ethel. There's a Moby Dick, just cases the wake a little bit on the way down, but no problems riding things out. The big G23 wake really booting the girls. See so what she can do now, an off-axis 360. The handle pass and looking good on pass number one, Megan Ethel. We pick her up again, pass number two. Coming in, front side 540. Looking very solid here this afternoon. Our top seed from the USA. There's a KGB, big air. Well, most of these girls have been getting huge air off this Nautique wake here this afternoon. Now the toe side Tootsie Roll, one trick to go. Let's see what she can do. Pops to the heel side now. Edges in nice and aggressively. The heel side back roll for Megan Ethel to finish the run. And who's gonna take home the crown in 2019? The champion here behind the G23 Nautique, Megan Ethel from the USA with 93.33. In second place, Erica Lang from the USA. And again, taking home the bronze from Australia, Beck Gange.